What's up, everybody? What's up? I remember back when I used to write my poetry. No, when I came back from, uh, when I came back from Germany, I came to this block right here where I am now on 145th Street. I'm on 145th Street in uh, St. Nicholas. And I always knew, like, I was like, I couldn't believe how crazy it looked out here. But I always knew that there was something fucked up about black neighborhoods. And I never knew what it was. And then one day I started listening to Claude Anderson, and I figured it out. Black neighborhoods are by, are by design to stay messed up. They're, they're messed up by design. And the powers that be wanted to stay that way. The powers that be don't ever want to see strong black neighborhoods. And that's why you have the Arabs on the corner stores. These Arabs on the... And remember, black people used to own businesses in the neighborhood. That's why the neighborhood is not a community. Because if it was a community, people in the neighborhood will own businesses in the neighborhood. But they don't own any businesses in the neighborhood. Black people make money and give it away right away. The way black neighborhoods are designed. So, excuse me. As soon as we make the money, it goes right out the neighborhood. Right away. Right away. Especially like on 125th Street. All the stores on 125th Street is designed to take the money out the neighborhood. And all these all black churches put their money into all white banks. People might say, oh, blue, you racist. But nobody ever says this to Jewish people. Nobody ever says this to Chinese people. You ever notice you rarely ever see Chinese people get arrested? Chinese people rarely get arrested because they stick together and they're making money. And they, and they, uh, they practice group economics. They practice group economics. That's why you rarely ever see Chinese people get arrested. And Chinese people are able to buy good politicians and put the good politicians into office. And if they're not buying them, they rent them. You know, white people know how to rent politicians. Black people are the only people that don't know how to rent politicians. Everybody gets rich off of black people. Everybody. Everybody makes money off of black people. These fucking corner stores. The fucking Chinese restaurants, the nail care products, everybody makes money off of black people. Black people ain't nothing but fucking plankton. <laughs> That's what we are, we plankton. Everybody feeds off of us. Everybody. All this shit in the hood is designed to keep it fucked up. Because the powers that be don't want to have strong black neighborhoods. And that's why fighting about gun violence, I mean, talking about teen pregnancy, talking about black on black crime, talking about the drugs in the neighborhood, all that shit is never going to change in black neighborhoods until black people start sticking together and practice group economics. Practicing group economics. That's what black people need to do. Other than that, it's just going to stay fucked up. And, and you know, that's why the police be shooting us down in the streets. And you got these, these vigilantes that walk away. Let me go, it's getting too noisy. Later, y'all.